Welcome to English Reading for Learning. The Clever Brothers, a folk tale from Uzbekistan. There was once a poor man who had three sons. He often said to them, "My boys, we don't have much in the way of worldly goods. We don't have land or herds or gold, but you have fine minds and must use them. Notice everything, observe and learn. Your abilities will serve you well." Years went by, and the old father passed away. Brothers said, "The eldest son, we must leave this place and seek our fortunes. Perhaps we can work as shepherds or field hands." They set out walking, and after many days, came to a road leading to a great city. The eldest brother said. A large camel has passed this way. Yes, said the second brother, and he was blind in one eye. Farther down the road, the youngest brother said, "A woman and a small child were riding on that camel." As they proceeded, they came upon a man on horseback searching all around. The eldest brother called out. Are you looking for a large camel? Yes, cried the man. And was the camel blind in one eye? Asked the second brother. Yes, yes. And was a woman with a child riding on it? Said the youngest brother. Yes. Where are they? We have not seen them, said the second brother. But if you ride to the east, you might catch up with them. Thieves! cried the man. What have you done with them? I demand you follow me to the shah. He led the men to the shah's palace. There he told the guards that the brothers were thieves. So the guards threw them into a dungeon. Finally, they were brought before the shah in chains. How do you know these young men are thieves? Asked the shah. I will tell you," said the horseman. "I was driving my herds to the mountains, and my wife and child were following. Somehow they lagged behind and lost their way. When I came searching for them, these young men asked if I was looking for a large camel, blind in one eye. With a woman and child riding on it, then they claimed they'd never seen them, but that I would find them by traveling east. The shah turned to the prisoners. Thieves! He cried. What have you done with them? We are not thieves, replied the eldest brother. We haven't seen his camel or his wife and child. From childhood on, our father taught us to observe and learn. We notice things that others miss. The shah thought for a time, then he said, "I will put you to the test." He called his vizier to him and whispered something in his ear. The vizier left the palace. He soon returned with two servants carrying a large chest. They set it down in front of the shah. Now then, said the shah, suppose you tell me what is in this chest. The eldest brother said at once, a small round object, a pomegranate. Said the second brother, a green pomegranate. Added the youngest brother. The shah ordered the vizier to open the chest. And all were amazed to see that it indeed held one green pomegranate. Well done, the shah laughed. Tell us how you knew that. The eldest brother spoke first. I could tell from the way your servants carried the chest that it was not heavy, and when they lowered it, I heard something roll from one end to the other. The middle brother said, 
I saw the direction the servants entered from. I had seen pomegranate trees in your garden earlier. And at this time of year, pomegranates are not yet ripe, added the youngest brother. I am impressed, the Shah said, smiling. He turned to the horsemen. You should search for your camel by traveling east, as they told you. The Shah then ordered food and drink for the brothers. Tell me, he said, how did you know so much about his camel? I saw the tracks of a large camel as we were walking along, said the eldest brother, and I knew it was blind in one eye because it nibbled the grasses only on one side of the road, said the middle brother. The youngest added, We came to a place where the camel knelt down. There in the sand I saw prints of a woman's boots and those of a child. The Shah stood up. I need men like you around me. You are rich in wisdom. If you are willing, you shall be my palace counselors. The brothers happily agreed and silently thanked their father for their good fortune. Thanks for watching and listening. Please click like and subscribe for new and latest uploads.